everybody, welcome to the Rave TV. Uh, you're here with Trevor, and we've got Old Dominion here tonight. Welcome to the Rave, guys. Thanks for having us. Good to be here. First time here, right? First time, yeah. Nice. We were just uh, kind of talking about the Rave itself and kind of how big it is, and there's a pool and stuff. You guys uh, you guys plan on checking out the pool at all? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah. I mean, I want to see the whole place just to hear what everybody, all the stuff that everybody said. I'm just worried about finding my way back to the bus. <laughs> <laughs> is there water in the pool? No, there's not. I mean, it's Can uh, we skateboard in the pool. Yeah, Ooh. did you bring one? I did. There you go. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Interview over. <laughs> well, uh, you guys just played at uh, Joe's Bar last night. Yeah. Yeah. How was, how was that? It was amazing. It was okay. <laughs> yeah, <it's> just okay. <laughs> we sold out somehow. It That's was, awesome. Yeah. That's the first sold out show we've ever had, right? Is that no, right? It's, no, it's not because we sold out Rum, Georgia. Oh, that's right. Second sold out Second show. Well, first, sold time out sold out Joe. first time we ever sold out Joe's. First time we ever headlined at Joe's. Very cool. And uh, yeah, it was really amazing to see because, you know, it's been like three years, I think, since we've played there. So to come back as a headlining act and sell it out was just kind of, it's still sinking in a little bit. I just keep like looking at the pictures like, what happened? Right. I actually saw a picture that you guys uh, posted up on, I think it was Instagram. It was like, wow, yeah. Chicago. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it was crazy to like walk in because I didn't really go in before the show at all until it was time to go. When mm -hmm. we walked in, it was like, oh my god, yeah, it was it crazy. Look packed. Yeah, it was. Well, that's cool. I also, um, I think on Instagram or one of the social media accounts, I saw you guys just played at a uh, whiskey jam. Oh yeah, yeah, down in uh down in Asheville. Yeah. I mean, how do you guys go from playing, you know, bigger clubs and then playing just a, a small bar? Like, is that cool for you guys? You oh like yeah, that? I mean, to me, it's like. The small clubs are sometimes the most fun because everyone is just right there up in front. You know, you get to play bigger places. People get start getting further and further right, away right. from yeah. the <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely more energy when they're closer. Yeah, and, you know, we've known the, the Whiskey Jam guys for a while. So, you know, it's cool being a part of that thing. You know, they've built yeah. it up from nothing. You know, yeah, They really have made it something that's like an event when you go there. So Yeah, I make sure every time down there, if I'm there on a Monday, I, I shoot out there. And yeah. You always get to see somebody. I saw you guys were there. I'm like, damn it, yeah. missed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but so you guys are doing that, and then uh, you're doing, you're going on Kenny Chesney, a, a couple dates with him, and yeah, we're doing a lot of dates with him yeah? actually. Yeah, we start May second in uh, San Francisco, and then we pretty much every Saturday with him all the way through August. So, wow. so yeah, quite a quite a m good number of shows there. Yeah. And, and a much larger stage than the Whiskey Jam. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys ever have you guys ever been to uh, like a, a Chesney show? Like the I never have. I no? never have either. No, the first time wow. we're gonna see it, we'll be part of it. So. Wow, that's like a like a circus, man. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. Have you be been before? I have been to one oh, before. Cool. Yeah, so it's uh, I'd like to go see you guys on that. I don't know. It'd be it'd be cool. Uh, it's just uh, so many people go out to those things. You yeah, know? I mean, it's definitely an all day event sure and this year i think it's even bigger than it's ever been i think you know there's five acts on the bill mm -hmm. we're the first out of five and wow yeah so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a marathon i think very cool all right so you guys uh uh is it break up with him yep. um now you guys write your own a lot of your own songs right all of them yeah we write them all yeah write them all um what do you guys what do you guys do for your songwriting? Do you do you do it individually or do you guys, you know, kind of collectively work as a group? Or how do are you guys I don't know, I'm just kinda interested in how your songwriting goes. Yeah, it's you know, it's a combination of all of that. You know, Break Up with Him is the first song that the five of us have ever written all together, um, as a band. So uh that's pretty fun to watch that be the first one that's really kinda knocking down the door. But uh, the rest of them, you know, the th there's three of us that have publishing deals in Nashville and, and write songs and uh, have been writing for a while and have gotten other artists to record our songs. So we sort of have a circle of writers that we work with, too, there. So there's our stuff, in, you know, in particular is is a combination of some of us and some other writers or three of us or, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's all different combinations. But we are writers on all of them. Cool. Now, does that kind of... Uh, we're talking uh, about front man versus like a band. Like, is there a difference in the two? Like, you know, like you're the, the lead singer, but it's still like the band name, you know? How do you guys go from choosing like a band name other than yeah, like a, that kind of thing? Well, I mean, we're, we're a band in every sense of the word that in that we write all the songs together, we play them in the studio together, we, you know, 
it's every decision is made together. <laughs> it's a it's a five. You know, if you're a, a solo artist, then that one guy makes the decision and pays the band. And, okay. You know, this is a this is a partnership, five way partnership, and and you know everyone has an equal stake in it, and cool. so we all have creative input, and we all you know control where this goes. So it's and you know we we. We play together like a band, you know. It's not. It's, there's not like we're not copying studio musicians, you right, know? right? We're we're we are the in the studio recording these parts. Oh, so you guys so actually get to do your own recordings in the studio. Wow, that's yeah, really so cool. you know that's us in the studio, and so when it comes to the live show, it sounds like the mm -hmm. record, you know. Hopefully, well, so is that kind of what hones your sound too? Is being able to record the, th you know, and have it actually on your CD? Well, yeah, I think it. You know, the, us playing. Uh, our own CD definitely, you know, gives us our sound because, you know, we can't, a lot of times the, the solo artists will use a different band in the studio and then they'll have a different band on the road. So, you know, because of our <laughs> lack of uh, expertise on our instruments, <laughs> I think it gives us a different sound than if you got <laughs> yeah, like yeah, the yeah. best guys ever to no. play on your stuff, you know. Sometimes too good is too good. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we work well with our limitations. Yeah. <laughs> nice well guys thanks for coming out uh we're glad to have you here and hope to have you back and uh wish you all the success man thanks for having so, us yeah. so much thank you very yeah, much absolutely all right ray tv thanks for watching uh old dominion Peace. we'll see you next time